So the more people participate in research, the more we will learn. So for instance, we may discover that a small portion, maybe it's 20% of people with visual snow syndrome, also have another rare condition or another common condition, then that allows us to understand potentially subsets or risk factors for visual snow syndrome. So absolutely, we are not stopping at just the known criteria. And over the years, if you look at many different disorders, you'll see that there is an evolution of criteria over time. Once we're better able to understand the sort of the biological underpinnings, we can better narrow down or expand criteria once we get to that point. So the, the simple answer to that is absolutely yes, that'll be very important to understanding visual snow syndrome is not just staying with the current criteria, but either narrowing them down or expanding them over time.